Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at uh, the first requirements on page three of the exam paper. So if you have a look at it here, you'll see it's uh, been named as thumbnails. So this is basically the links for the other two pages uh, from the two pages that we've already created, the, ch the child pages basically. So you can see on the home page they want you to create or use an appropriate image or a cropped image. So you're allowed to edit these if you need to uh, from the images folder to create a thumbnail that links to the competition page. So from the home page, an image that takes, takes you to the competition page. Then we need to do the same thing uh, for the link from the writer's page. Sorry, no, from the events page. Sorry, there it is, events page to the writer's workshop page. So this will take some time. You you get marked on using your common sense and initiative to, you know, to identify and use, make use of the most appropriate images. And in the folder that they provide you with, the images themselves, um, there will be some images that actually won't be appropriate. So it's down to you to then obviously decide what's best uh, for for you to use. So let's look at the first one. The first one is obviously we're going to the um, from the home page to the competition page. So we need to find something that would be suitable for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to maximize this. Have extra icons. We're not going to use that. You can see uh, just from the title alone, the kind of image it is, that's, that's going to be something that might be coming in later on. In fact, if you read the paper, you'll know that this was actually mentioned later on. So we can't use that. That's the band that we created. So we're not using that. We're not using that either. We're not using the icons. The flyers mentioned later. The footer I created early on. So we're not using that. Hotel, no, definitely not. In fact, that you can see instantly that this has nothing to do with this website. So that's there to catch you out. Um, so we want to find something that's suitable uh, for a competition page. So I reckon it's going to be something down here. So let's look at the writing on the competition page first. just want to get some ideas. There we go. The task is to write an opening chapter of a crime novel or an entire short story. Your writing must be our original, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so basically it's asking or inviting people to write. So let's have a look at pictures again. So I'm thinking maybe image 18 or image 16. Let's have a look. What else is there? So look through. Yeah, I'm, th I'm going to go for image 18 I think just looks like something uh, that's probably is best suited for the competition page so I'm going to open this up on Photoshop um, so I'm going to go over here file open and the reason why I'm going to open it on Photoshop is because I want to make some changes to it so they said that you can crop it if you want to you don't have to necessarily but I'm going to show you the skill uh, and the tools that's required to do so and then you can make your decision as to whether you're going to uh, do the same thing or not so there's a lot here that I, I, don't, I we just don't need uh, what I feel as uh, that we can get rid of um, so what we can do is use a crop tool here there we go and just decide how much you want to keep so I'm going to just get the typewriter here person thinking up to about there there we go and if you need to move it in and out afterwards, you can do. It's no big deal. So you can play around with it until you're absolutely happy with it. And I want to get in a little bit more there, tighter. There we go. And look at the space here. Can you see from the shoulder to there and from here to there? So I want to make sure that's as equal as possible so that it looks balanced. And once you're happy, press enter. There you go. And that is that. I want to make it look a little bit nicer. So very simply, I'm just not going to do anything fancy. I'm going to go to filter and I want to see if there's anything here that can make it look actually no, even easier. Image, so I'm going to go to layer actually, layer, new adjustment layer. Here we go. And I'm going to do, I'm going to go to curves, press OK. And you usually find a, a, a little line here, a line graph. And if you just mess around with these, you'll see that it should bring some of the contrasts and the put uh, the colors in and out okay so we're just gonna we're just gonna mess around with these a little bit just make it a little pop a little bit more um there we go no, I'm just gonna get in that much yeah i think that's about right 
That's too much. Okay, so mess around with these little lines. And once you're happy, you can just leave it as that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as. So I'm going to go to File. Uh, I'm going to use uh, Save for Web Devices uh, because preferably you want to make it PNG. However, actually, let's have a look. In here, on the paper, it doesn't actually specify uh, if they want the thumbnail to be a PNG or a, a JPEG. Um, so I'm going to just keep it safe and go for J uh, PNG purely because they haven't mentioned it. And PNG usually makes it easier to control the size itself. So you can see here that's 18 kilobytes, and the maximum we can have is 299 because we don't want to hit the 300. So that's perfect. And I'm going to press save, and we're making a, we're going to make sure we're in the correct folder. You can see from the items that are here that they are, and I'm going to call this the competition. Uh, should I call it comp? Um, no, we're going, to, we're going to write it properly. Competition uh, thumbnail. I want to put one there uh, because I'm going to make two versions. So competition thumbnail plus save. Second version, very simply, um, it could be a change of colour, it could be just making it blurred, it's completely up to you. Um, if I show you some of the simple ones, if you go to filter, you've got um, a number of different things here, and it's really down to you. I mean, you can do pixelator, so if I choose one of these, I've not used these uh, in a long time. So I'm going to try Mosaic, just to see what it looks like. Zoom out. Hasn't worked. I'm just going to undo that, and have a look at my layers. There we go. Uh, I have to click on that layer first. So if you are trying to apply any kind of changes, you have to click on the layer. So window, get your layers open, or F7 is a shortcut. Click on the correct layer and then do it. So filter. I'll try that one again. So let's see. There's so many different things you can use. So let's use pixel again. Mosaic. And there we go. So you can see there's a well, that's too much. There we go. So I'm gonna just do that. It's really up to you. I'm gonna pick this one for now. I'm gonna remember I'm gonna remember number four as well because I'm gonna use the same amount for the next uh, thumbnail. So I'm gonna press OK. File save for web devices again and save and this time I'm gonna put I'm gonna click on this one, but put on it and save okay and I can push this down for now go back to Dreamweaver and I need to find a nice space for this um, on the home page now I've got two options I can either split this up I'm going to zoom out a little bit just so you can see there we go I can either put it at the bottom or I can um, split this up to have it on the side uh, what I won't do is have it on the left hand side. So if I'm going to have it, I should have it on the right or at the bottom. So I'm going to split it for now. And I'm going to try having it uh, underneath it for now. Uh, so two rolls, that's fine, yep. And I'm just, just going to insert it as a rollover. So Im insert image objects, rollover image. And very similar to how you did the navigation bar, you're going to find the button. So I always get the page, uh, the... Um, the item in here first, so again, make sure you're in the correct folder. So I have to go back in here and find my folder. Make sure you are in the correct place. Here we go. Images, and I should find it here. There we go. Press OK. Say no to that. Next one, and I should remember the place now. And I should have pixelated one there. There it is. And say no. And I want to put the name um, competition. Uh, thumbnail and as I always say if you see this these words alternate text describe what it is you get an additional mark for accessibility which means making it easier for people who may have visual impairments to understand and navigate and uh, basically have a more user-friendly website uh, experience sorry of your website so describe what it is so 
image of a young woman thinking um, at a table. Something simple like that. And you press OK. Okay, and it goes in there. Now, I quite like the size of that, but if I need to change it later, I can do. I'm going to just keep it as it is. You can see the size of 204 and 218. I'm going to write that down because I need to make sure that my other button that I have to make is similar as well. So I'm going to get my pen and on my paper, just write this down somewhere. So I've got 204 and 218. But if in doubt, you can always keep these open and go back and forwards. But anyway, let's make this link now. So I'm going to click this here. The link is exactly the same. You go in here and you find your competition page. There it is. And press OK. OK. And then if I press Save and open it up. So if I go back in here, actually, and refresh this. And you can see that, one, it's, inter it's interactive. If I click it, it should then go to the competition page. And it's as simple as that. And if I click on the home page, it'll take me back to the home page. Now, yes, the arrangement isn't perfect yet, but at the moment, I have actually ticked this one off. Okay. I'm going to then do this one. And then later on, once I've got everything else in, I'll have a better understanding of what I need to, with the, need to do with the space and whether I need to make this smaller or not. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video now and show the final result of the second thumbnail, but you go for the same exact process. Actually, before I show you the end result, I just uh, had a little, a little think about the button itself, and I don't like the way that looks at the moment, because there's no indication to the user what that button is for, where it's going to take you. So what would really help finish this button off or this thumbnail off is we have some text that say competition page so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to show you this very quickly so i've got my original image here i'm just going to get the t for text and we're going to draw a little text box and we're going to make sure that it's white just because it might be easy to see and i want to say competition page and Drag it out. There we go. And I should be able to just rotate it. And expand it. Drag it in. There we go. Um, I'm gonna, if I can, pull this out. There we go. Use a black arrow now. I'll push this in. And what I might have to do is use a blending option here and i have to do an inner glow to see if that makes it easier nope that makes it a little bit easier no that doesn't make it easier nope so we may need to that makes it better i think so so i'm going to do that yeah i'm happy with that press ok and leave that there so you can see the person, you can see the text, and now I'm going to save this one. So I'm going to go back and put this into the same folder, save over the original one that I had. So it's that one there, just click OK, save, and replace it. Yes, yes, I do. Um, and now, if I go back here, it's already there. If I come back over here and refresh the page, you'll see it just looks a little bit easier it makes more sense the, the person using it knows what this is for and it's still interactive now you could have the text on the other uh, layer as well if you want to uh, it's completely up to you so the next thing I want to show you is trying to get the same proportions so I'm going to push this down uh, to get the same proportion here what you might want to do is basically if you go to um, image and go to canvas size it gives you the numbers if i click on pixels 204 218 yeah 204 218 and if you think back early on it's also 
here, 204, 218. And the reason why I wanted to know that is because I've decided to use this picture here for my next button, the events one. And what I need to do is basically change the size. So the easiest way to do is just go to canvas size, write this down here. So pixels, 204 and 218. Just so we can get the right proceed. There we go. And then you can move it around to where you want it, where you think it will be best suited. Now, I could, if I want to, use Control and T, and then hold the shift button and drag it in to get more of in, more you know, more people in there. Basically, uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So it's worth playing around with it. So I'm going to try to get all these four people here, these four heads, in there as best as I can. But I have to be mindful about how much space we have here because we don't want to use, we don't want to take too much. Uh, we don't want to make we don't want to make it too claustrophobic basically is what I'm trying to say. So I'm quite happy with that there. Press enter. And then I'm gonna do the same kind of edits that I did with this on here. So all I gotta do is basically go to um it was layer, new adjustment layer, curves. Uh press OK and then just bring some of the colours out and make it look a little bit more nice on the eyes. I'm happy with that. Uh F7. That's not what I wanted to do. It's not coming up. I'm using a laptop, unfortunately. That's why it's not showing. There it is. And I need to uh, get some text. Now, I want to try to copy uh, this text here. So I'm going to try and basically copy this. Duplicate. And see if I can just drag it into here. I've never tried this before. Nope, it hasn't worked. So what I'm gonna have to do copy layer style. Maybe this will allow me paste layer style. No, okay. So what I need to do is I'm gonna undo that. I'll have to put the text in first because I was hoping to keep the same angle as this, but not the end of the world. So um I'm gonna get rid of this one, there's two here for, which we don't need. Uh delete, 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 there you are. And yes, there you go, we're happy with that. So keep that as it was. And let's get some text in here as well. So I'm gonna drag this out, put this in. I'm gonna put down events. I'm sure it was events. Let me just double check the page, the paper. No, writer's workshop. Oh, okay. So good job I made this mistake then because it's important that we read the paper. So you can see, I was thinking events page, but it's actually going on the events page to go to the writer's workshop. So maybe this picture isn't the best one to use because there's no writing involved in here at all. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm sorry, we need to center. There we go. Uh, I'm going to delete yeah, delete all this. I'm going to say no to all of it and then get another picture. So file, open, and find something to do with writing, basically. So let me look at this here just because it's easy to see writing. Let's have a look. Writer's workshop, workshop. So perhaps this one here. I'm going to keep that in mind. Image 5. Let's have a look. Is there anything else? So either number 5 or number 16. I'm going to go for number 5 purely because there's colour in this one and uh, it would be more consistent that way as well. So I'm going to go back here. Image number 5. There you are. Press open. As soon as it loads up, there we go. I'm going to go to canvas size. I'm going to go to pixels again and change the number. So that's 204 and 218. Now your numbers might be different here. Because you've, you know, depending on what you use and whether you resize it or not, this is just showing you how I got the same sizes so I can keep the consistency um, all the way through. And yes, I want to proceed, and then you can just move it around. So I think that's better. There we go. Yeah, you can see this is about writing, so that's perfect. Same as before, I'm going to use the curve to um, change the color scheme just to make sure it matches those kind of contrasts. Get the text in there as well, and put it in there. So I'll show you the end results in a few minutes. Okay, so 
I'll try and show you the end result. I've made a few small changes, so you can see I had the text on this ang on this angle, and after some thinking again, I decided to actually straighten it up and fix it at the bottom, and I got rid of that glow as well. So you'll see what I mean if I refresh the page, I move it down, and you'll see that I have the button here, and the writing is at the bottom instead. Okay, and it's the same thing if I go to the events page and go down. And you can see this here. Now, oh, for some reason, the second version is not working. So, what I may have to do is double check that. So, I'm going to come back here and make sure it is working perfectly. So, I'm going to go back in. You can see PNG, yep. And now, what we need to do is make sure the link is there as well. So, you can see. This link here is to the competition page and the events page here needs to go to the writer's workshop page. So I'm go here, writer's workshop page, press OK, and that's that. So I'm going to save this now. That has now been ticked off for this one here as well. But always make sure you test it as you go along. So as you saw, my, uh, my rollover wasn't working. So what I'll have to do is obviously delete that. Go back to insert image objects, roll over image, and make sure I have both versions in there before I move on to the next section.